Recently, the carnivore diet has become quite popular. Sticks are laid on these forks to form a gridiron about three feet off the ground. The meat is laid on this and a slow fire put under it and it is turned until it is done. And then he says, this is called jerking the meat. That's what they referred to it. So I built my entire personality around liking bacon because the pork board told me to. It's a bacon club chalupa. <laughs> Guys love bacon. With bacon strips, bacon jam, and bacon crumbles. The smell of fresh cooked bacon. It just moves you. I love this thing. I feel like a Viking right now. Today's video, we are going to be looking at some of the reasons why someone may experience chronic diarrhea on a carnival diet. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. The gym is on slow mode, hard mode. It's on hard mode. So we, we're waiting for other people, like an electrician to come in before the next step we need to do physically, or we're waiting for this guy, for this guy, and shipping and all this stuff. So not a lot of physical change this week, but I still wanna get a video for you. And because we haven't been working out too hard, because gyms are closed here, I have been eating slightly lower carb, which popped in my head that the only diet that makes sense for me to be a healthy jacked human on planet Earth would be the carnivore diet. And we did a little research. We've seen all these eating challenges. I've never done like a good full day of eating and I've never done a good food challenge on this channel. And I've been on YouTube now eight years. So what we decided to do, add like really cool shit here, Connor, like uh, fireworks and like something to go whoosh, you know, like 10K carnivore challenge and then have a deer run by and a moose. So we're doing a 10K carnivore challenge. 10,000 calories one day, and I'm almost putting myself at a handicap because it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten yet. So we're starting the day off with two fat boy ribeyes. I cooked up steak for the boys because they said they're gonna do the challenge with me, but really they're just gonna eat steak at their leisure while I do the carnivore challenge. This is true. So I have two fat boy ribeyes, probably, uh, we're gonna estimate, I don't have a scale here, but the packaging said they're 10 to 12 ounces, so we're gonna round up, they're about 12 ounces each, uh, which is about a thousand calories of ribeye. First meal of the day, we got bacon going in the, uh, uh, oven and I'll probably just snack on that all day long um, and then from there we'll see what happened We're gonna do a strict carnivore as we know as carnivore. I don't think it's a real thing It's like everyone's version of their own thing um, So I'm gonna try to do no like processed foods. No like cheeses stuff like that. I might end up throwing some ketchup in there <laughs> The unholies are the unholies, but I might need some like something to soften this meat up uh, I might even do in and out later with like no buns. I don't know where we're heading are veggies allowed Carnivores, no veggies, dude. Okay, so then I gotta get protein style and like hold the lettuce at in and out <laughs> Hold the lettuce. I don't know how this works because obviously I don't eat this way. I'd also like to put, what's it called when you say like, don't try this at home. Disclaimer. I'd like to put the disclaimer out there. I don't think the carnivore diet's a good diet for anyone's physical needs, athletic performance, or health. I think that there's no sign that vegetables have a negative impact. So throwing some vegetables into your world are probably a very good idea. This is one day out of my 32 years here on the planet. So I'm not stressing it. And it's obviously for entertainment value only. Enjoy the video. Come on, dude. Dr. Disrespect. He's live right now. It says a new journey begins. YouTube.com slash Dr. Disrespect. Oh, he's actually live right now? Why would you shout out the world's biggest streamer on my poor channel like that? I didn't even know he's recording yet. Dog. <clears throat> That's bench press, dude. You know? I heard you're a gym, I heard you're a gym rat. 2K down. So I think that was like 22, 24 ounces of ribeye. For those that are keeping up, keeping the math. Um, I don't have the exact calories, but it's around 1,000 calories each. I have two more waiting for me, so that'll bring us to 4K. I can't say that I feel bad, but I definitely don't feel good. Like, just eating steak like that, it gets a little tiresome. So we have bakey, we'll probably snack on that. Shout out to Doc Disrespect, he's going live. So we're just gonna go watch a little bit of that, probably chill. I'm starting to get a little bit of the meat sweats. It's not cold in the house, it's 75, but I am getting the meat sweats. I think we have enough food in the house. I got a couple New Yorks left, a ribeye, which are a little leaner. I'm trying to obviously choose some fattier meats. To get the cows up, bacon. I have some Canadian bacon in there, and then uh, it might be an in and out I feel bad. 
poor Jim McD. He is framing out some really cool parts at the gym, but there's just not enough progress. One, there's not enough hands because I don't know what I'm doing. Two, there's not enough progress to make a video. So gym updates coming soon, Third Street Barbell on Instagram. Follow us in 3sb.co if you want to keep up the updates and the vlog. So the one after video after this will be a vlog update, gym update. Uh, getting closer, a lot of things, a lot of uh, stuff's in the works on the back end, and we'll talk about that uh, and kind of the timeline uh, in the next video. But for now, we're gonna chill. I, what is it? You drink water while you eat, cause then it like you don't you don't get hungry. I think that's what my guy Joey Chestnut does. Yeah, they dip, but that's with like a, a bread. I think I should have I should have called Furious Pete and Eric the Electric for help. I heard it eat faster too. I eat fast anyways, yeah. which is they good. I think soda. I think soda. If you drink it, yeah. you you're still hungry. But water it makes you feel satiated. You're drinking empty calories or something, or what? No, I don't know. Yeah, I think if so. it's actual. Soda. Yeah, but I don't all know. those like competitive eaters drink like diet and like and maybe and maybe they just like it. Yeah, they don't know because I was watch as soon as he said that I went and just looked up 10k challenge and like the first video, YouTube video I saw was uh, some guy just he was like oh yeah. there was some explanation on sure bubbles or drinking uh, like diet soda it could be like bro science there might not be real science but i'm gonna do it anyways i got a couple diet sodas getting cold for me we're gonna chill i'll snack on the bacon while we watch some tv while i get my sweats out um but i yeah i am stupid like shout out to eric the electric and furious pete my i'm not much of a youtube watcher but they're like personal friends but i know you guys love their content and i do too A thick cut sliced bacon. Yeah. Looking on my my fitness power, whatever it looks like is about 70 calories each. So we got 10. Uh, what's that? 700 calories. I guess I need 13. Right? No. How many do I need? Fuck. That's 700. Yeah. We need like a thousand. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that's why I got more. I need like 12. I'm gonna say we got 80, 80, 80, 800 calories. You gotta think mentally hunger, hungry. I'm hungry. You're gonna get a lot of girls on the DMs, dude. We're by number three. What time is it? So that's just 4,000? Yep. What time is that? You're already, like, I, I know you're gonna be like, oh, Mike, you're only like, not even halfway there. But like, it doesn't taste good. And ribeye is my favorite thing on the planet. It doesn't taste good. It's, that proves you. That excess isn't healthy in anything, boys and ladies. That, I can't even think straight. That uh, more isn't better. More is not better. More is not better. Unless it comes with subscriptions and likes and, but not revise. It's now six o'clock, 6.30. Ah, oh, my stomach hurts. Someone told me to drink Diet Beppy. So we're drinking Diet Beppy. And we called in. We smell good. The reinforcements. 2,400 calories. And one beautiful brown paper bag. Oh damn, this makes me feel so, I don't wanna like fat chain, but it makes me feel fat. How they packaged it. Normally you buy, I bought 30 wings, and normally you buy them and they'll put them in like three different tens, because three different tens for some reason psychologically means that like, oh all right, I'll just eat 10 at a time. They threw this in there like we're having a party, but it's just party of one. 6.30, I'm gonna try to bang these out. I think it'll put us at around 7,000 cows. Wish me luck. I don't know if we can do it, man. If we started with breakfast and I could do eggs and stuff, I could probably do this. Starting at one o'clock, I feel like I already, you know, I belong to, I, be, I, I wanna be put in the YouTube 10K Hall of Fame. I know Max is probably in there. Shout out to Chunster. Well, it's an August probably did a good one. It's just not even enjoyable. <laughs> yeah. oh, a bunch of other shit, Taco Bell. Yeah, this isn't yeah. fun though. The 10,000 calorie Taco Bell challenge. You 
Go with someone. Tell, ask Omar. Do you have so much food over here? You want me to call him? No, 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 just text him. So He's how like many, a janitor. How many calories do I have to do for this to be legit? And how much pain do I have to go through? Really lead this off, you know. Quitting, um, quote. Um, quitting is okay. This is good. This is the first one that popped up. This is the first one that popped up. Swear. Boy Scouts honor. Quitting is okay if you're quitting something that's slowly killing you, so you can keep. Okay, so you can step into something that will give you life. Meat is killing me. And the boys didn't do it with me. Don't blame us. You were never part of it. The other two were supposed to do it. I, how many wings do you think are in there? There were 2,500 cows. Cut that in half. 13. 1,300. I think I'm at 6K. Well, you could do the math later. <laughs> it's early still. It's not that late. It's 8 o'clock. But I started to get um, very nauseous sitting over there. Then I came over here, and then the nausea went away. I got the AC blowing. Nothing feels better. Well, nothing feels worse than a hot stomach ache. Like, nothing. There's nothing. On, I, maybe giving birth. That's something I can't attest to. But there's nothing on the freaking planet that feels worse than a, a bad stomach ache. Like bad. You guys had those jarring stomach aches and you're hot. You're sweating. So I got meat sweats, nausea. I came over here. This AC's on me and now I feel okay. I've, I never nap. I can't tell you. I haven't taken a nap in a decade. And I almost napped three times today. I don't feel good. And for the sake of that I have to go to the gym tomorrow and build furniture, we're... we're Well, even the white flag. I'm going to do this again. And we're going to do it good. And we're going to do it with like Omar and Alan or something. And we're going to start in the morning. I think Alan could probably bang it out. Omar, you never know with that guy. He's a little bit of a picky eater. But we're going to bang it out one day. I appreciate you. And for those that are like insulting the beard and the haircut, barbers are closed in California. And I'm doing construction every day with the boys. Every day. We're in 100 degree weather, sweating, getting dusty paint. I'm not quite at my peak aesthetic. Let me put all my energy into the apparel that's coming very soon. Third Street Barbo on Instagram. And all my energy into the gym aesthetic function. Update coming next video. And then eventually I'll be pretty, pretty boy Mike again. Till that day, I'm sorry I failed you. I will come back for redemption. My friends, take care of yourself. Surround yourself with good company. And we'll catch you in the next one. Give this thing a thumbs up if you eat vegetarian. Give this thing a thumbs up if you eat vegan. Please give this thing a thumbs up if you're an omnivore. Give this thing up if you're one of the few on the channel that's a carnivore. And also give this thing a thumbs up. If you're an absolute trash monkey and eat McDonald's and Oreos all day, I got love for you too. Did I miss a diet? You know, all my keto zealots out there. All my flexible dieters. <laughs>